Okay, so hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is the town, and today I am bringing you guys another video. I am doing another hair tutorial again. I've been doing many of this this week, but yeah, that's okay. So today I am going to do another wash and go. I just washed my hair, and I think I've tried it already on the channel. Some of you liked it, so but this one today I'm going to use a different kinds of gel. Uh, if you want to see the video, I'll link it up here. Put an eye card so you can watch it. But today I am trying another wash and go. Uh, wash and go kind of very interesting, but I don't mind. I'm going to keep trying. But anyways, before channel. we go into this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below. And if you've been here actually for a while, don't forget to turn on your notification so you get notified every time I post a new video. But anyways, I'm not going to talk too much. We're going to just head over and to the video. And just so I'm going to try to use the gel here on my hair, so do a wash and go with a gel. And I'm going to try a leave-in conditioner with it. So I came back from the US about a couple of days ago. And I brought this uh, leave-in conditioning cream from Cantu. Haven't tried it yet. But we're going to give it a test today. And I'm going to follow up with a gel. So that's pretty much what I'm doing. Anyways, so for a new trick, I'll leave my t-shirt here on my shoulder. So that my, so that the gel and the stuff doesn't go onto my neck. Wow, this lighting is good today. So anyway. Why do I keep hurting myself? So this is my hair that is freshly washed, clean, and just lift them. I lift them. I left them in all this twist out. Let me lift my camera. It's too low. So I tie this hair up. All these other ones, I left one out. So I'm gonna be working. I have eight twists in general, and that's how I wash my hair in twists. And then I have this one section here. And I'm gonna I'm going to separate this one into two sections. This is my hair. Completely detangled. I don't see knots. I can do this, I can separate it into so make sure your hair is completely detangled, completely washed and clean. Don't just slap a gel onto your hair. It's going to it's going to knot your hair and those knots are never going to open up again. So I'm going to take my leave-in conditioning cream. This is from Cantu. I'm going to take a little bit of it and put it in that small section. I don't want to put too much because I don't know how the leave-in conditioner is going to react with the, the gel. Okay, and do not forget to have water in your water bottle. I've seen people actually trying doing the wash and go. And make sure you have a, a lots of water, and that's just really good for activating the gel. Okay, let's. Okay. okay. And then I'm going to go in with the gel now. I'm not going to take too much. I don't know how much I need. That's how much right now to start off. I'm not going to try to slam everything on. And then I'm just like, oh no. Should I put in that much? Okay. So I put a little bit and I work my way to the top. It's okay. So this is how it looks like right now. I have been... I'm just using my fingers to right through. So I'm going to spray some water in my hand. Onto my hand. And then do the same. The curls are forming so fast. I never... What? Wait a minute. Look at this. Okay, so it's too much excitement. Let me put some water. So you just have to keep adding as you go, add as you go. Don't slam too much onto your hair. Okay. Hello. Eco style gel. Okay, not bad. Okay, not bad. Let me turn so I can show you guys. <laughs> 
Hmm. Okay, <laughs> try to shake it. Okay, so I'm going to continue again with the same thing, same procedure. Okay, and I want to take a little bit of the gel. I'm not going to do too much. Small and small section as you go. Don't put, don't slam it on. Okay, start from the end. Work your way towards the, the base of your hair. I do not want the gel onto my scalp, so, but don't go all the way. I don't know, that's just me. So this eco style gel is really thick because of the custard and it's flaxy. So try to be very minimal with it. Don't slam it all in. I'm just struggling right now with that, but it's not too bad. So I finished the uh, uh, one half of the hair. So this is how it looked like. There's still products on it. So yeah, this is one half. Okay. Anyway, so I I'm done with uh, putting in the gel and actually yeah <laughs> so I my camera was full so I couldn't finish the last part of it but anyways I'm all done and this is how it looks like it's literally sitting on my face because it's just like stretch my hair so my hair got stretched super not really long but this is how it looks like whoa okay so okay so it's the next morning with my hair i did yesterday it's dry now i put it okay too much <laughs> so i put my hair in uh, a pineapple which was not the best pineapple i've ever done no. <laughs> okay so one of the things with the next day it's like dry but you know other gels you feel like you touch them is so crunchy this one here i can like totally i'll put my hand through and it's not crunchy it's super it's feel moisturized so yeah so definitely it's not crunchy the next day so this is how it looks like i had this one up here i'm gonna take them down and probably style it in a different way because i'm heading out anyway so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quickly end this or like outro this video. Hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Enjoy watching me trying out this uh, eco style gel. Black castor and flaxseed. It was good. I loved it. Um, it wasn't flaky like I say. Um, it wasn't tacky. I can still touch it. So you can see that I can touch it. Pull it out. I can still do that. Not completely but that's better than that. And so I would definitely recommend this gel for somebody who loves to try gel. So one thing that I want to tell you, those people who are trying out, those who are starting out with their natural hair, don't just go ahead and grab um, a gel and slap it on your hair. Like, <laughs> make sure, like I said already, make sure your hair is washed, is clean. Second of all, make sure your hair, if you're actually going to do a styling with the gel. But if you're doing regular styling with like just put it on your edges and styling up or something, you're good to use your gel. That's all I can say for those of you who are going to be um, trying this or those of you who are going to be trying and styling with the gel. Otherwise, everybody, I will see you guys in my next video.